Give yourself the freedom of knowing this knowledge, of knowing how the woman is, of knowing how to execute in your life so you can attract women. Because I tell you what, it started off in high school. You know, you come to school with the clothes you have, with the swagger you have, you as a boy, and you start to develop crushes. You start to get crushed on as far as a woman crushing on you. It's because before the outside world noise come in, they look at you for the, what feeling do you give them? Instead of all the extra as far as in money, as far as in all the outside noise, as far as in how much money are you making? What lifestyle can you give her? That all comes in at the high school. So if you in high school and you in middle school and things of that nature, enjoy these shorties. Enjoy having fun with your vibes. You know what I'm saying? Because that's before all the outside noise. That's before they want the lifestyle. That's before they want the finances. So they they want you, dog. They want you and just the feeling you could give them while you in school days. But as soon as you get out of high school, oh, you got to grind. You have to execute of being the best man you can be. And you have to make women a secondary thought. Okay? Not like we don't need them for life. Not like we don't love women. But we know to maximize our options in life, of lifestyle, finances wise and woman wise, we have to have those part down pat. We have to have ourselves down pat. We have to be in control of ourselves to get out the most action for ourselves to level up. See, once you become man, the only way to really attract women is to just level up, is to be the best man you can be, is to just be execute and be in control be a natural leader for yourself be the leader of yourself you don't even have to be the leader for all these other people i'm talking about be a leader for yourself so every day you showing up for yourself every day you doing these hobbies every day you being you dog every day you don't care if that bitch rejects you every day you don't care if no one bats an eye at you because yes being a man it could be lonely. Being a man is going to be lonely. Being a, a man, your life going to suck. Being a man, no one's going to understand all the time. Being a man, it's going to be gritty. But it's the grit that makes you a man. It's the grit that turns you into someone who can lead his own life. And woman finds that attractive. When woman wants to attach to that. Woman finds the man someone they can look up to. That's why they don't respect the betas. That's why they don't respect the guy who's just going after and being a cuck because woman wants to be able to respect you and look up to you why do you think they always choose that guy that just overall don't care that overall just like he he he, he just he just getting it after in his life those the one that select i just seen a video of a youtuber i'm not even gonna say her name i'm not gonna you know shine no light on her as far as that in that nature Nah, we gonna talk about it. Y'all, we, we the homies and things in that nature. We try to get put on the game. Carmen. I see her dancing on Boss Man. Nah, it wasn't Boss Man D-Lo. It was uh, D-Boogie or something like that. Meanwhile, she got a kid at home, a family and things in that nature. I know they ended it and all, but like getting, you know, you know, pounded from the back as far as why you twerking and things in that nature. And you got a family at home. I'm just gonna be honest with you, dog. These women don't care. It's all about the experience for them. So you can have a kid with somebody and they go on to live their life once a year, a year of it, of, of it over. And they doing the most outrageous stuff. You know what I'm saying? Getting getting hit from the back uh, on stage in front of thousands and thousands and thousands. So you gotta be prepared for how your partner moves after you are done with, with, with her. How your baby mama moves when you're done with her. How your wife moves when you're done with her. Because, yes, as a man, you go through these relationships of getting in love. And then they change. People going to wake up and change one day. you like, dang, you was my homie. Dang, you was my shorty. Dang, you was my wife. And they change on you. They don't want to be around you no more. They just different around you now. They lose some type of respect for themselves, so they lose some type of respect for you. So sometimes in this game of being around women, yes, you can have a woman that likes you. You know what I'm saying? You you dig it in and out, 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 in and out with your pogo stick, you know, in that nature and things in that nature. And she starts to envy you because 
it's like she likes you so much. She wants to be around you so much. She just, she starts to envy you because sometimes when women like you so much, they begin to envy you. They begin to not understand why do I feel this way around him so much. So I had a couple of shorties that liked me so much to where they ain't like me like that because they liked me so much. It became a toxic thing. We dealing with each other and it's, it's just something toxic. And you want to be able to protect your mental while dealing with these women, while dealing with the world. Because the world is on your shoulders as a man. As a man, the world is yours. Anybody watching this video, the world is yours. But life as a man, you have to create. You have to create. See, the woman, she's going to have the opportunity to attach to your life. She can attach herself to any man's life. The average man can't control himself around some butt. So he's going to indulge in and, and spread it over. Go crazy. But you have to be able to go crazy in your life so the woman sees you like that. Not the she she's not gonna be doing that foo-foo that foo -foo stuff, but she's gonna be yakking and 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 shuck and and, and shucking and sucking, sucking pogo stick because she can't resist the pogo stick. It's because you put the work into the structure of your life. As soon as you exit high school, you have to grind. You have to grind. You have to build some type of charisma, okay? When people come around, they have to get some type of feeling from you, okay? You have to be that person day in and day out to show up for yourself, even through the lessons and losses that you view as losses, but they really just lessons. And learn, constantly build, okay? That way, when that ex, she, 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 see, she see your life now, it's like, damn, he got leveled up that to there now? Damn, I'm with this bum ass nigga? Damn, I left, I left him for him. Yeah, cause you, you know something you gotta understand. All women have hypergamy. She may think the grass is greener on other sides. She, her, she may be keeping her options open, but really you, you're her best option. That's why you gotta really sit down and be like, what were we programmed here to do? Why are we here? Okay, you look at all the stories. Look at how many men has lost their life because. They have poured too much into a woman. They took too much of a sacrifice on women. And they never put that full sacrifice into themselves. Or they never realize they have to be careful after putting sacrifice into themselves on what woman are they betting? What woman are they really putting in their life to where it's in structure? So it's just like, okay, if you leave, you leave. Bye. You know what I'm saying? I, you you are walking out of my life but my life is not walking out of my life so everything stays the same my crib stays the same my car stays the same my lifestyle my fun stays the same the structure who i am as a man and what i'm on stays the same and this is the mindset you got to have when dealing with these women because when you don't you start to chase you start to chase and chase and chase and chase and chase and chase to where she doesn't even want you she doesn't want you no more Either she don't want you or she didn't want you no more. And you chasing is not going to change that factor. And one thing you got to understand is never chase. Never chase. Never chase. The woman who truly likes you, she's going to make it easy for you. She's going to start up conversation with you. She's going to want to be around you. You chasing though, it's like you procrastinating the part of getting your life together. Especially if you're in your 20s, dog. If you're in your 20s, I get it testosterone through the roof use that to create something for your life though use use that life force to create your life create the dreams and the lifestyle it's all possible i'm doing it nigga so lock the fuck in i'm tired of the fucking excuses i'm tired of i can't do it i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired of all this because if you want the money if you want the bitches if you want good woman in your life if you want a good lifestyle if you want a good structure for your kids you gotta lock the fuck in you, do, you, do you think your kids want to look up to a bitch? Okay, so stop being a bitch and get the job done. Build some type of charisma for yourself so when you walk in, they feel your aura. Build some type of respect for yourself so other people got to respect you. And if they disrespect you, they feel the motherfucking torch. And never go against the green with yourself. Be always on your side, man. Be always able to sit 
and be able to give yourself time. So you're not always looking for validation from a woman for her to give you some time. And you'll be okay. You attract women into your life and your life will be better and less stress. So make sure you like, apply these gems and your life will be better with women. Comment and subscribe, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all another one.